All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakudash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, this message is going to be titled, Who Have Come Into Her Treasures? You know, going into who has this um, wisdom, knowledge, and understand uh, been revealed to. And it's only been revealed unto the elect. You see, uh, the initiated souls. And I'm going to start right here in um, Baruch 3, and verse 14. Learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding. And it's right here in the scriptures. In the Holy Bible, you see, and it says that thou mayest know also where is length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace. Because once you uh, repent and return back into Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know, once he revealed his truth unto you, and he revealed hey, this, what uh, following after his commandments brings you a uh, length of days, you know, it, it enlightens you. And it ultimately brings peace into your soul because you know, hey, this is not the end all be all. We know that the state that we're in right now is only for a moment. It was for a punishment. And ultimately, uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to return and destroy all this shit. And we're going to be put in a, in a righteous state where we're going to get new bodies. We're not going to be sickly. Esau Edom is not going to be able to um, devour us anymore take our children away. We're not going to have to slave for them daily. We're going to be able to reap the benefits of the earth under our Lord Yahweh Shah and our King, King David, man. Everything will be ran in righteousness. We, uh, we're going to be able to have as many wives and children as we want. The, your dream house that you always been desiring, hey, you're going to be able to get that under our Lord Yahweh Shah. We're going to be able to have chariots, man. Go to different planets. This is what we are hoping and longing for. You see? And it says, who have found out her place or who have come into her treasures? Only the elect, man. Because hey, this is not for everyone. You see? The book of Second Editors, chapter 8, and verse... Uh, 62 it says these things have i not showed unto all men but unto thee and a few like thee and this is what the heavenly father told Idris. these things he's not he have not shown unto all men only the elect have received um the the, the gift of yahweh by hashim al shah the understanding of his word to be able to come into her riches to 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 understand that this is the, the way that's going to lead us to salvation. You see? And because the rest of you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who scoff at this word, uh, it, it wasn't for you. You're going to have to die and come back through the loins of the elect. And this is why we hope to be of the elect. And hey, we have a very good chance. Lord will, he bless us to hold on. Uh, and stand stiffly, stand firmly to the very end, man. This is the book of Salak. Let me get it in the, uh, right here. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, a uh, relief. You see, because that's what Jake is seeking for, relief. And uh, a God, that's why Jake will believe anything. But here it is. You tell them about the Holy Scriptures and they, and they brush it off. They don't care to listen. They don't care to believe. But Jake will go believe that he's a Buddhist. Or he'll believe that he's a Muslim. These niggas are stupid, man. Hey, that's why it wasn't for... Uh, two-thirds of our people, man, because ultimately the Lord has blinded them. 
It says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see, it was only for the elect. You see, it said the rest were blinded. It says, According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. You see, Yahweh Bashim al Shai has given the spirit of slumber. And that's why we have to be very grateful and thankful that the Lord, he didn't uh, put this spirit upon us. He blessed us when we heard this. We heard the names. Hey, it was a joy to us. And we wanted to continue to, uh, to, to pray, learn, hey, uh, and seek out Yahweh Bashim al Shai ten times more. This is the word for slumber, G2659. It says, let me get straight to the point. It says, hence, a spirit of stupor, which render their souls torpid, so insensible that they are not affected at all by the offer made them of salvation through the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. You see, so Yahweh by Shema Shai has given them a spirit of stupor where they don't even um, consider what our Lord Yahweh Shai have done. He come down in the flesh and they beat him bad. You see, he said, no man was more more than our Lord Yahweh Shai. And the first person I would come to my mind, think about how they did Emmett Till. They did Yahweh Shai way worse. You see, he was nailed to a cross. He did that so our sins could be forgiven. And the nation, the ultimately the entire nation uh, could be put back in the good graces of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. But the catch is only the elect will be delivered on the first go around. Two thirds is going to have to die here in America and come back through the loins of the elect. You see? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Because uh, these are parables. When you read the breakdown, this is going like Rev Isaiah 13, for an example. He said the Medes, how they're going to take down uh, Babylon. That's a parable in a dark sand. And only the elect can understand it. Two-thirds, they think it's just a joke. They scoff and mock at the prophets until Yahweh by Shemal Shah unleashes his wrath upon them. And they're going to get put down. And they're just going to be that's just the uh, the answer for you scoffers to die or watch your children be brutally killed or your wife brutally killed. Then it's still going to be too late for you. You're going to be crying and hey, the Lord says he's not going to hear you. He's going to show you his back. And when you go into the word back, it says obstinate. Well, he's going to basically be uh, stubborn. He's going to be stubborn. He's not going to care to hear you. This is why we constantly upload videos. This is why we constantly go out on the highways and byways. We don't want Yahweh Bahashim al Shah to show us his back. We want him to give us his right hand, our Lord Yahweh Shah, to stand up for us, protect us, to send Michael the Archangel to protect us in our households in the times to come. Because we're coming into a time as never before. That's why it's a blessing that Yahweh Bahashim al Shah has uh, opened our eyes up. And caused us to come into uh, her treasures. Speaking of wisdom. Uh, verse 11. He answered and said unto them. Because it is given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. You see. So to two thirds. It's not given unto you to understand this. He said it's given unto you. And Lord willing we of the elect. And then we get the word mysteries, G3466. To get straight to the point, it says, hidden things, secret mystery. You see, who have come into her treasures? And they always show you uh, on TV shows, movies, treasures are always hidden. And you have to have uh, uh, the blueprint to, to find the riches. And, and Yahweh Shimon Shah has given us the blueprint, the holy scriptures.
It says, uh, general mysteries, religious secrets, confined only to the initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. You see? So, Lord willing, we are those initiated souls whom Yahweh Shah have chosen from the beginning to be delivered from this wicked place, man. I'm going to get uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3. And it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You see? Let me get this word lost. So if the uh, the mysteries are not revealed unto you, you think this is a joke, you scoffing, you mocking, you don't care about this, guess what? This gospel is hid to you because you are lost. And when you get the word for lost, G622. It says to destroy. So you're going to die if these uh, secrets are not revealed unto you. If you can't get it. Moving on. It ain't, hey, may you how about your mouth shot deal with you. We don't care if you can't get it. We out here to do our job to warn you. If you don't want to hear, oh, well, nigga, go die. It says to put out of the way entirely. You're going to get put down. Abolish. Put an end to ruin. You see, you're gonna, uh, hey, you're gonna get your curtains closed. It says to kill. See, render useless. You are you are useless soul, so you must be killed. It says to declare that one must be put to death. You see, and that's gonna be your end. You're gonna be put to death for scoffing and mocking. At the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua, because we're just the messengers telling you what the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, said. And if you don't like it, you're going to die because, hey, that's their peace offering unto you. That's them showing their love, telling you. The Lord said He don't even take pleasure in killing you, but that you return unto Him. But you scoffing the mocking, so the Lord said, okay, I'm going to kill you. You see? It says, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. See, so two-thirds of our people have been blinded by the ways of Esau, Edom, and want to follow after him. It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the heavenly father, Yahweh, should shine unto them. So unless Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, open up your eyes and, and, and wake you up and get you out of that that spirit of slumber, that spirit of stupid, stupor, hey, ultimately you're going to be put down. And this is why we have to be very thankful that Yahweh by Shemal Shah has called us into uh, her treasures. This is second, uh, so like second Thessalonians 2 and verse 13. It says, believers should stand firm. And it says, but we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. You see, so this is why we have to always give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemal Shah, because it said the Heavenly Father, it says from the beginning chose Chosen us to salvation. Lord willing, we are the elect. I'm going to get this word salvation right here. The word for salvation. G4991. It says deliverance. Uh, pers preservation. Safety. Salvation. You see? And this is this is what the elect has in store, deliverance. It says deliverance from the molestation of enemies. Because Esau Edom, he's finna try to molest you so called well, he's finna molest you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two thirds, with his tiny little device, that RFID marker chip. That's the mark of the beast. He's gonna stick it in two thirds of our people. And if you receive that, hey, you're gonna be uh left here to burn in the lake of fire. It says uh, right here, future. It says salvation. Read this salvation as the present possessions of all true Christians, which is the elect. It says future salvation, 
the sum of benefits and blessings which the Christians redeem from all earthly ills with, will enjoy after the visible return of Hamashiach Yahushai from heaven in the consummated and eternal kingdom of the Most High. You see, that's what we're looking forward to, salvation. When our Lord Yahweh shall return in the midst of World War III, and those nuclear missiles be shot off over here in America, we're looking forward to be beating up on those chairs and, and watching this place burn, you know, from that bird's eye view on those chairs. You see? What's the word I was looking for? It's another word in here, Salakia. Which is it? Mm. Salakia. In a moment. This one, man, it was another word, but. Well, continuing on, it says, right here, it says, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You see, he said he called us by the gospel, by the good news, to the obtaining. That's the word. Uh, the obtaining G forty forty seven, you have a preserving, a preservation. It says down here it says purchase possession, a and Yahweh by Shem Al Shai he purchased us by the shedding of his blood. Our Lord Yahweh Shai he come down and shed his blood for the elect, and we accept, you know his his offering. Hey, that's him purchasing our souls, Lord willing we of the elect. Ultimately he purchased the entire nation, but. It's a special purchase because the elect, hey, that's their special purchase because they're going to be delivered first. Two-thirds are going to die and then come back into the kingdom. We're trying to be delivered on the first go-round. When we come down here to the Greek's lexicon, it says, to the preserving of the soul. It says, unto the saving of the soul. And that's what we're looking forward to, to be saved. Right here, it says, a preserving. Simple Google definition for preserving. It says, maintain something in its original or existing state. Uh, protect, take care of, look after, safeguard. This is what uh, the elect has to look forward to. Protection, to be taken care of. It says, my servant shall eat, but you shall hunger. My servant shall drink, but you shall thirst. My servant shall rejoice, but you shall weep. You're going to uh, weep bitterly. You know, roughly paraphrasing. It says, retain a condition or state of affairs. It says, maintain or keep alive a memory or quality. And that's what we're looking forward to, to be kept alive. Even if you do have to be uh, a martyr for the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, that's just going to be a quick nap because the Lord tell you how the martyrs, they're going to be um, the ones who's going to be uh, risen first. So this is why we have to be very grateful and thankful that Yahweh by Shem Al Shai has called us into the council of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. He brought us into his riches, this wisdom. You see? Because two thirds can't get it and they're going to die here. And it says, Therefore, brethren and sister, you know, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or epistle. And it says, now our Lord Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach himself, and the Most High Yahweh, even our Father, which have loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. So a be thankful, a, a be comfort in the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, because ultimately, hey, the Lord got us because that's all we got. Our weapons were in our corner. We're trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Those are the powers that's going to deliver us in the times to come. So, hey, Lord willing, this video was edifying to you, brothers and sisters. 
I want to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakudash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And Shalom to the hopefully late.